All right, so that was pretty thrilling. In the last section, we created our reusable button component. So we added some styling and an event handler to it. Now, to be able to make it reusable, we pass the function to the event handler from the parent component with props. So whenever a user presses that button, the component will be passed a callback function, which is provided by the parent component with props. Of course, at the moment, we, uh, we just write the brand name to the console when a user taps the button. Well, that's no good. We want to be able to send the user to that brand's website. Wasn't that the goal all along? Now, in order to do that, we should be able to open the user's device browser and actually point it to a specific URL. Now, in web applications, we used to do this with what's called an anchor tag. But in React Native, it's going to be a little bit different. So, to see how we're going to make this happen in React Native, we're going to look at the React Native official documentation again, <laughs> which, of course, you've memorized by this point. So, I'll just go back to my browser, and here I already have the React Native documentation, and I'm just going to look up the APIs. Okay, so now I can go down a little bit here, and... All right, so here we see linking. Are you with me? So, this linking property is provided by React Native. So, with this property, we can reach the other apps that are present on the user's mobile device. So, in other words, to send the user to their browser from our application, we need to use this linking property from React Native. So, you can read all about it in the documentation. You can find how to send the user to other applications as well. But for now, we just need to use this linking property. So, how are we going to do that? So, in the linking library just below, we see a method called open URL. What do you know? And as you can see in the example, this is the method that's used to link apps to an HTTP address. And it's exactly what we want. So to use this method, we just have to give it an HTTP address directly. So now let's take a look again at our data, which is returned from our APA. And here we can see that every model has a URL property as well. Perfect. So we need to just reach this URL from our car detail component, right? So we need to give that to the open URL method. So now I go to my car detail component. And at the top, I'm going to import linking from the React Native library. So I write linking near the image. And now let's go to where we use our button component inside the render method. And here inside the button press property, we don't want to pass a console log anymore. So instead, I want to send the user to the browser. So I write linking.openurl. Now inside of it, I'm going to give the URL, which we get from the API, right? And to reach that, I'm going to write brand dot model and brackets, and inside of it, zero dot URL. Okay? Okay. I mean, that's it. We just gave an address to the open URL method. Now, we got to make sure that it works. So let's test it out by going to the simulator. Refresh it by hitting Command-R, Control-R. And now when I click on the button, or the user presses it, right, it takes us to the web browser and to that brand's website. So what do you think? I think we're done. So let's pause for a second right here, and we will continue in the next section.